too early, but it's pretty. go have dinner with a friend I've been messaging uh, on Facebook at the little brasserie that's around the corner for me. They have like falafel bites, so I'm happy with falafel and french fries and a salad, even though it'll be overpriced. Yeah. Let's go have fun. Take a picture of me with wow. American, but it's so much like home and I was always meant to be here. And I feel much better tonight. I feel like being with a friend and sitting and just going on a night walk throughout my city. Like, it'll work because it has to because this is home. One of my pumpkin muffins, white chocolate. I just realized because vegan white chocolate is so much easier accepted, or not accepted, like I can find it much easier here than I ever did in the States. Well, not that you couldn't find it in the States now because veganism is everywhere, but it's just so much cheaper here and I've known of this for so many years. I can make white chocolate pumpkin muffins and that would be so good. Anyways, off topic, my little dessert, my bedtime tea, Halloween town. <sighs> I love Este, I've watched her for years, watching her lazy Sunday vlog on my Sunday morning. I'm trying pumpkin pancakes with chocolate and maple. I'm gonna get some almonds up there for crunch and we're trying it. If not, we'll go back to our other recipe next week. We just have a lot of pumpkin to go through. We're gonna have to freeze it. Okay, 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 okay. Smells good. Could that look more beautiful? Let's see how she tastes. I'll update you. I'm gonna watch Mommy's World and enjoy my Sunday morning. I made my chickpea tuna toast for the week. Gonna pack some on this delicious rye bread I bought at the market and take it to Place de and have a nice picnic because it looks like it's shaping up to be a beautiful day. For a nice long afternoon walk and a nice afternoon day. try a bite of Napoleon looking like me because I'm too curious and then go home. walk home I'm going to eat uh, I last time I had this too black beans you know before going out to dinner black beans and mayo and hot sauce and everything but the bagel seasoning the thing is 
I am confident, I'm gonna go look at the footage later, I'm confident that the inside of this bowl was pink, like this bowl last night. So I'm wondering what happened to it. Um, very confused. So, <laughs> I'm gonna eat dinner and then go lie down outside. Making up some sweet potato barbecue tofu tacos with a red cabbage slaw and the Greek yogurt stuff. Then I'm gonna go try and copy my key. Did most of my work. Honestly, I got a really emotionally stressful day, and that's why I haven't filmed anything today. Maybe I'll talk about it tomorrow, but now I'm just gonna eat my sweet potato barbecue taco thing that I made. I tasted the tofu and the sweet potato. I completely eyeballed the barbecue sauce. It tastes delicious. I put red cabbage slaw and Greek yogurt and hot sauce. It's gonna be perfect. Perfect. It's Eiffel Tower time early tonight, so I come back here and I try and get a better night's sleep. going back to the US for Thanksgiving and I'll spend the night in Manhattan. I'll go to Flatiron, I'll go to Hudson River Park, Madison Square Park, the village, get my sushi, maybe tacos, pass by Midtown. We'll just have a good like day. And I'll take the bus to the scene and then I'll come right back home here. That's such a nice thing to wake up to. Mm -hmm. Rushing a little bit, though I know I won't be late. I had to run to G20 because I was out of toilet paper. Don't want to live like that. I got this chocolate oatly barista dish, and I'm like, oh, but if you buy it now, you won't go through it before it's whistle in. I might. I added the coffee because the marzipan coffee that I bought the other day is like starting to be chalky. And when these get chalky, I just think they don't, they're going bad. Uh, this tastes like a mocha. This is splendid. Bought a baguette, even though I don't need one. Gonna have one of my pumpkin breads and a little bit of baguette and go to class. Disney Plus in the U in uh, France is so much better than in the U.S. There's so much more stuff on here. Uh, I gotta watch this tonight. I gotta remember to watch this. But for now, go meet the world. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> So right now, I just got home, gonna finish this episode, meet this, and then we can finally chat. Mm. Mm. Okay. Is this the angle we're going to go with? I guess this is not the most attractive angle for me, but it's probably as good as it's gonna get without me taking out my tripod, because I don't feel like taking it out right now. So, the beginning of this week was very stressful. Just a lot of emotions feeling, you know, just 
how I haven't really fully enjoyed my time here and I know like one of my really close friends said you have to realize that you're not where you were six months ago and this is a huge step even though you're not there in the capacity that you wanted and I think just unconsciously conspicuously it's been very tacitly difficult for me to process that I'm not here the way that I imagine being here and it's been hard to accept because the I, I know that now things are going to get better because now I'm going to go after the field that I really want which is writing and creating content and this kind of stuff instead of childcare but it's still very stressful to not have the CDI job contract and the visa easily renewed etc etc and I think Demi Lovato shared something on her Instagram story the other day that just rings so true and it's not that our grief gets smaller by the way I'm drinking that Oatly chocolate milk thing that's gonna be gone way before I go to Switzerland so I have nothing to worry about um I'm 23 year olds yeah I'm 23 years old and what do I do in France I don't drink wine I drink Oatly chocolate milk <laughs> Um, Emily Lovato posted this thing that said, Our grief doesn't get smaller, we grow around it. And I know it wasn't a death, but it was a death. It was a, I forgot what the term for it is, an ambiguous loss? I don't know. It was an ambiguous loss. What I lost wasn't living or breathing, but it was a loss. It was a life, a different kind of life with different senses of security that I don't know of yet and that's just been very hard to digest like every single day you guys have seen it on the vlogs but like for instance my instagram stories and i posted this on instagram the other day how social media is such shit it's just so fake no one really knows the tribulations of other people's lives because um, on my instagram stories if you just look at my instagram stories you just think like oh this girl lives in paris she takes cool pictures eats some cool vegan french food and does a lot of nothing all day but so much of what i've been doing the past I think it's been, se it's almost been two months, seven, eight weeks that I've been here. So many hours a day, revamping my resume, rewriting cover letters. I've submitted hundreds more, at least a hundred more job applications since I've been here. There's just been so much behind, there's just been so much that's been behind the scenes of me doing so much stuff that I didn't envision doing when I finally got here. Not to mention there's a bunch of stuff like, I still haven't gotten my bank account. The Wi-Fi took six weeks. Like, I have to get my car vital. I can't apply for CAF until I get my car vital. Like, there's so much. The first, um, I anticipate that the first, like, year or so being here will be a lot like this this kind of stuff getting organized but it's just been really hard to process all of this and the fact that i have to start at the bottom with an internship and all this kind of stuff and uh but things very quickly took a turn like today um like i well month sunday night i got a volunteership position they told me to sign the contract within 24 hours and i was waiting to hear from other things and i asked for an extension never heard from them so i might have let that one go but even just getting it as a writer it was a no volunteership as a writer gave me so much satisfaction because i've been going after things in my own field and expertise for so long and not getting anything and then i got that freelancing job as a copywriter and i can't believe it like i can't believe that i didn't fail the copywriting test and i can't believe that i after applying to so many dozens and dozens and dozens of entry-level copywriting jobs that I just finally got one. I have to make sure, apparently someone here told me that you can register as an auto entrepreneur. I don't know. They're asking for my IBAN, which is not a US bank account, it's a European bank account. So, and the company's based in the Netherlands. So I don't see any issues here. And the other internship I applied for that was like social media and content creation, they needed someone full-time. I can't do full-time because I have the French classes, but I have another one that I'm going to interview for next thursday after i come back from switzerland and we'll see how that one goes but like things seem to s alec was walking home to and i was like things feel like they're finally i feel like by christmas like by like december the holidays things will finally i'll feel more settled and things will feel like they're really turning around for me what else <laughs> Oh, I found out, uh, even though it's so, like another thing, literally there were all these antithetical juxtapositional things that were at the lowest of lows and then seemed to like be coming out of the depths of the darkness today. So like Monday or Tuesday, my Portuguese passport lawyer was like, oh, this is going to take two and a half years. And I'm like, well, F, how do I legally stay in France for two and a half years while I wait for the right to live and work here as a European citizen? But then join one of those Facebook groups. Like I'm in so many Facebook groups for France and women living in Paris. There's some of the best resources I've had for this whole new adventure I've started. And I joined a Facebook group for people pursuing Portuguese citizenship with Sephardic Jewish background. And someone told me if you have a job offer in the EU, you could expedite the process to a few months instead of two and a half years. And my lawyer said it's true. I don't think that the freelancing job would qualify because the freelancing job is 
I think I told them 20 hours a week because illegally that's what I can do on a student visa. I could ask, but I highly doubt it. Um, but that's not the concept, is it at least buys me time, takes my incessant financial stress away. Um, I'm pretty content. Uh, my parents are gracious enough to help me that I could, I can go back to the US for Thanksgiving, which is the time that I actually wanted to. I like the idea of being here all winter long. So I'm gonna go for Thanksgiving, very quick trip because I have to miss school and I don't wanna miss too much of it. So I'm going very quickly. I'm gonna fly into Manhattan. I'm going to get some sushi and some tacos and just walk around all my favorite places in the city and then take the bus back down to DC and fly out Friday, Black Friday, and get back here. It'll be exactly a week from Saturday to Saturday, and then I'll be back home in Paris, because I love it here. Um, things feel like, the, I feel like after that trip, I've got a lot of hecticness, like I'm going to Switzerland next week, and there's gonna be, you know, final exams for classes, just like that kind of stuff, and I have some, I'm still like doing job interviews and blah, 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 but I, and my mom's coming in two weeks. I feel like, and then someone else, maybe, I hope, will come visit me sometime in November, early December. I feel like after I get to like December though, I'm gonna feel really settled, really calm, I believe that I'm gonna have some, I mean, I have this offer, so I will have something by then. I have to look into maybe changing my student visa status to auto entrepreneur status. I've heard of that, that's another option. I just feel like finally the doors are opening. I also reapplied just for shits and giggles to the master's program that rejected me last time. Last time I applied with my senior poetry portfolio and I read it back and I was like, this is kind of crappy, Stephanie. So I, but <laughs> it's kind of funny. I submitted something that I wrote for a writing contest for World Nomads like four years ago, but I think it's a stronger piece of work. It's like a short little story. And then a piece of twine digital fiction that I did in college. I think it's much more representative of my specialty, which is media writing which is something that we're in 2021 and i feel like companies really need or you know i feel like i just now i feel much more settled monday i was like how the hell am i going to legally and financially stay today with like the master's thing resubmitted and this freelancing gig and internships i just feel a lot more settled like i don't have to feel bad about going back to the us and getting more of my stuff and bringing it here you know um yeah, I feel like a lot, a lot better. So yeah, and I'm, I'm excited to uh, make a New York City vlog, like 24 hours in New York City. That's gonna be a fun video. I'm excited to make a reverse of US culture shocks because evidently this is the longest I've ever been away from the States, but I don't miss it. Like I see myself just making the one trip back every year for Thanksgiving. I have no other reason really to go every year. It's a long way and it's expensive. I mean, granted what I'm, what I'm about to do is a little crazy. That's a lot of travel for six, seven days, but I'll manage and then when I come back to here there's like two more weeks and then I've got a seven week break in the winter and that's what I was forgetting to say is that I love the idea of being here all winter long because this past winter as you guys know I was in New York and I was hopping around all over New York City and I was in the beach house just I love the idea of staying put this winter like maybe after class is done I may take like a day trip to Belgium uh one by one I thought this on my walk home one by one I'm gonna get back to all the countries I've missed Spain would be next on the list maybe during my spring break in March or something but um I love love the idea of being here all winter long, all December long for Christmas because last year when I was in New York City on my cousin's couch, I would watch live streams of the Christmas walks here and this year I know I'm coming home here and I get to actually be here for it. So things are turning around. Um, the rest of the week, tomorrow's chill. Friday I was supposed to have an interview at a preschool but then they emailed me today that they're not moving forward with my application. I think I'm just not going to go to it. I want to try and pursue what I actually want to do. And I feel like now I can finally get my foot at least teetering through the door. So this has been a 10 and a half minute long clip. I'm going to finish this chocolate milk and go lie down outside and have the... No, I'm going to try my chocolate dessert thing from No Glue Cafe yesterday. And yeah, feeling much better. <laughs> it was in multiple
favorite shows and finally tried this chocolate pistachio brownie thing. I don't know what it is, but I'm excited. Oh my god. It's okay. Not amazing. It's not like Land of Monkeys, but this is still nice. Woke up in a bad mood because the wind was so strong last night that this officially completely popped out of the socket. It wasn't like this in the summer, but it was like this when I came back. And this is as much as I can close it unless, I mean, by the time someone, this video's up, I'm gonna have to find another way to fix this situation. I'm gonna try and call my home insurance because I don't really want to leave it like that with the iMac there while I'm in Switzerland. Even if I do leave my friend Jenna a key, which I am today, but yeah, it's a problem. The only good thing is that there was ventilation in here, so everything in here is actually dry, but problem. It's always something. This is the only good part about my day today. Good morning. It's Friday. I'm tired. Home. I made some pumpkin pie oatmeal with some chocolate I bought this morning. I said, man, this apartment is so dirty. I'm gonna clean it, do the laundry, of course, do some Pilates, edit this video for you guys, and chill out. It's a rough week. Apartment is clean. I feel like I totally, maybe I didn't. I forgot to mention this morning that, uh, well, yes, you can see the window that Jenna came over last night and she got that window shut. So now when I'm in Switzerland next week, I don't have to worry about it. My camera battery's blinking. I'm gonna eat dinner and then end off this vlog because I'm gonna start editing it. Tacos don't look as pretty tonight because it's the last batch and there's not as even as amount of stuff, but you know what I mean. My independent Eiffel Tower time. I'm very tired. It's been a very high and very low week all at once so i'm gonna go over sleep this vlog should be up tomorrow which is saturday i'm not gonna film the weekend because i'm just gonna pretty much chill and get ready to go to switzerland uh and i'll talk some about a little bit about some of the emotions that i have not yet digressed or divulged on this channel but uh the switzerland video is gonna be really special um so be sure to watch it for now like subscribe catch up on some other clips until that video comes next week and i'll see you guys soon bye